Hello guys and welcome to another video with the incredibly awesome me, Matthew Smith. Uh, so in this video you'll, you'll be experiencing my day trip to Katarissa. You've asked where is Katarissa. I've got this incredibly awesome map behind me. Let's have a look shall we with this incredibly awesome controller. Let's zoom in. So this is you up here. You may not be able to see this. Um, I don't think you can actually see this, um, but it's in Eastern Europe, Poland. It's in Poland, which is here at the top of your screen. Um, I don't think you can actually see that though, but it's in the centre of Poland. Uh, let's zoom out, shall we? So you can see me again. Hello there. There we go. Uh, so anyway, it's in Poland, which is in Eastern Europe. Uh, I'll be travelling aboard a Ryanair aircraft from London to Stansted. And we'll also be visiting a small city called Taiki, which is about a 30 minute train ride uh, from Katarissa. Um, it's a nice, uh, comfortable train ride, as you'll see later. Uh, but when I return to the airport, it's another matter. This air told us our flight would most likely be delayed until 6am the following morning. Um, I was panicking a bit. This was due to the weather in Poland. There was any region I was in, there was a yellow warning out for wind. Um, I was uh, panicking. We were held in a tiny bit of uh, in a holding area in Katowice Airport uh, for about an hour. Uh, it's very cramped up. Um, and then finally, we uh, boarded us uh, and we departed a little over an hour late. So panic was all over. That's the fun against travelling after all, guys. Uh, anyway, let's get into it, shall we? Be prepared for my epic day trip. Um, but first, let's hear some facts about the places I'll be visiting. As you just heard, you'll be hearing about my incredibly awesome day trip to Katarissa. Let's start, shall we? Katarissa is located in Eastern Europe. You'll find it in the heart of Poland. It is one of the largest cities outside of the capital, Warsaw. There is plenty of history within Katowice and as such loads of museums and architecture but although it is a city there's lots of nature and parks that surround it so it has something for everyone. It is the 11th biggest city in Poland with a population of 287,000 people and it's also one of the most diverse cities. According to a 2011 study, 26% of residents were of a different nationality with most common being Ukrainian and German. In 2015, Katowice gained the status of UNESCO City of Music. This is because of its long and rich history of music. It is home to the world-renowned Karol Zajamadowski Academy of Music, which is a music school which many famous alumni attended. Every year, Katowice holds many different festivals, for example, the Rara Blues Festival, Metal Mania, Off Festival and May Day. Legendia Celestian Amusement Park is one of the best things to do in Katowice. There are events throughout the year and great value for money, so if you are into amusement parks, definitely check it out. Now on to Taiki. Taiki is a city in Celestia in southern Poland, approximately 20 kilometers or 12 miles south of Katowice. Hello guys, and um, I'm currently at Lisa Airport in the car park. I'm going to be going today on a trip to Poland, Katowice. Um, and on, this, on the local trains to see the sights. Uh, and I'll be back here at 8pm this evening. Now it's 2.55 in the morning. I'm actually departing from Stansted um, today. Um, but I'm returning to Luton. So I'm departing with Ryanair this morning. Um, and then returning with Chris Air into Luton. So I've had to put my car at Luton. So that I've got my car uh, this evening for when I return. I'm getting the National Express coach from here, from Luton, up to Stansted today. Um, I'm kind of in the long stay car park. I'm kind of waiting for the shuttle bus to take me to the terminal.
So, hello to Stansted. I'm currently at Stansted waiting for my flight. This is the longest ever time I've got to wait for a flight, actually. I've got like four hours to wait for a flight. Uh, that's because the, that's the time the coach arrives. It's the longest I've ever had to wait in the airport. It's boring. It's going to be boring. But hey, I'm learning my full English from Weatherspoon, so it can only get better. And I can't wait for my day in Katarisa. Um, and show you around and see what the train's like out there. I shall get back to you on the plane and show you the sights when I get to Poland. See you then. Bye. Hello guys, so I've now arrived in Katowice. Um, landed 15 minutes early, good flight. Uh, I do apologise about not being able to uh, film the takeoff. There's a bit of a technical issue with my 4K camera there. Um, but anyway, I'm now in Poland. Uh, it's three degrees, it's freezing, feels like winter definitely at this uh, kind of temperature. It's very uh, windy as well, which makes it feel even colder. Um, I've now got like 40 minutes to wait for uh, to get a flips bus into the main city centre. I'll get a flips bus to the main city centre, uh, see what's around and then off on a train. I uh, forgot my gloss and hair. I kind of left them uh, in my work jacket. You know, that's you. That's because uh, I was at work yesterday, so I completely forgot them. So I'm going to get freezing today, it looks like. So I've now arrived here in the centre of Katowice. Uh, I've just arrived off the flip bus at the central bus station, which is just down from the train station. I'm looking forward to my uh, day in Katowice, I guess, in the uh, train down to Taiki. Um, it's just about a half an hour train wise from here. But first of all, we've got about an hour here to explore Katowice before getting the train. Shall we go and explore? Emptied out my soul, you've heard it all before Honest but I know, uh -huh. Left these years ago, I was young and I'm old Still care for the void, uh -huh. We don't need the past in our lives for tomorrow Never see the end of the night for sorrow What do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love? When everything's in Hi, I'm now at the train station in Katowice. Um, my train's in about 20 minutes. It's currently showing us on time. Platform number one. Uh, I'm going to a place called Taiki. I do apologise if I've got the spelling uh, wrong on that. Or the definition, shall I say, if I've got... Uh, how we say it wrong. Um, but I'm going with Taiki. Let me know in the comments below if... How, if I've got it wrong and how you actually pronounce it. Uh, so, I'm now off to Taiki. I will have 45 minutes over there. See what's down there before heading back to here and then to the airport.
something why I decided to come here for and there's not actually much here I've arrived in Taiki now um, it's a small little town actually it's quite um, unique in some ways um, but there's not much for me to actually have a look at to do I've got 45 minutes here so I'll have a walk around see what there is to actually do um, I'm sure there must be uh, something to have a look at uh, and then I'll head back to the station to the train back to Katerisa so this is Taiki uh, see what's around here it's a small little place like I say but there's actually um, unique in some ways because it's quite a nice place to walk around uh, unusually um, it's a nice little train ride, uh, don't get me wrong, the trains in Poland are always really um, up to date and things, it had a, a charge on on the train so I could charge my phone up a bit, um, and yeah, uh, I'll have a look around Taiki, let's see what's here. I'm now back at the uh, station, waiting for my train. I've got about half an hour to train here. Not much to really see in Taiki, to be fair with you. It was a rather busy town, though. Uh, a lot of people about, uh, as well as people heading home and stuff. Um, now back at the station, half an hour to wait for the train. Back to Katowice, and then I'll get a shuttle bus this time. Instead of flips bus, it'll be a shuttle bus. Uh, back to the airport. I've uh, got a reasonably early flight this evening. We saw land back at Luton at, what was it, about 8 o'clock. Uh, sorry, uh, yeah, about 8 o'clock. Maybe, um, yeah, so I'm back at the station now. Just waiting for my train in dead on half an hour. And I'm back to where I started. I'm back at the uh, Katowice train station, uh, which is where I started. It is now getting uh, dark, and the more it's getting dark, the colder it's getting. Forecast this evening of minus 3 degrees. It definitely feels like it, alright. Throughout the hour of today, it's felt really, really cold. Um, I mean, it is, I suppose it is winter in Poland, but I'm uh, just not used to it. Uh, especially from the UK um, but anyway I'm off to the bus station now to catch uh, one of these shuttle buses back to the airport uh, and then I'll be back with you in the airport see you then Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes I'm now back at uh, Cantorisa Airport I'm here now, going to uh, get my fly. I've got about two hours here. The flight departs at, what was it? About 8.30 the flight departs local time. And I'll get back at five past nine into Luton. Uh, I enjoyed my day today. I hope it's a bit cold. I'll join you back at Luton later.
So I'm back at Luton. That was a bit of excitement for today, wasn't it? Uh, this evening I had a bit of excitement. We all boarded the, all went through the first stage of the boarding process with Riz Air. Um, I need to be held there for about an hour uh, due to adverse weather, strong winds. Um, they were saying that the flight would be delayed until 6am, uh, which really panicked me. Uh, but luckily... Uh, we managed to get going only an hour late. Um, this isn't that bad considering Risa haven't got the very best of reputations for delays. Um, but nevertheless, I'm back in Luton and I'm ready to go home and have my beauty sleep. Thank you for watching. Um, I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, subscribe and hit that notification button to keep up to date. Uh, and until next time, good night. Hello guys and welcome to this segment that I call So What Did It Cost? Let's see how cheap or expensive this trip was in total. I couldn't do what I wanted to do uh, today because I had a bit of a technical issue with my whiteboard uh, so I'm having to hold it uh, for you guys but today uh, in this segment I'll be a mathematician. I'll be doing some calculations seeing how much this all cost me. Uh, that being said, I'm cheating a bit. I've got all the calculations here on my phone. All I have to do is tell you guys. Uh, it's a bit cheating, uh, but there we go. So, <clears throat> let's see, shall we? So, what do you think this trip cost me in total? Let's see how expensive or cheap it was. So, with this whiteboard here, I'm going to tell you guys what it cost. So, the outbound flight. There we go, out flight. I was booked via eDreams, which is a website I use for most of my trips because I get cheap discounts. It's a uh, yearly charge and you get loads of discounts on all flights. Um, you get it quite cheap. So, at one flight, I was booked with eDreams. I'm going to do it in pounds and euros for you guys at home. So, it'd be £12.23 it cost me. Or in euros, it cost €14.08. There we go. £12.23. There you go. Uh, and then the return flight. There we go, return flight. Um, so this was paid in Polish slotty, uh, but I've translated it uh, into pounds and euros. Uh, so in pounds, uh, I booked directly by the way with Rissa on the way back because e -Gyms can hardly book with Rissa um, because of their security protocols. Uh, so I've put directly with Rissa on that one. £15.73p. Uh, and in euros, that equates to €18.07. There you go. So, um, food and drink in the UK. Before I even departed. Uh, so that uh, was £25.99. Uh, but that also increased £16.65 for my All English, of course, uh, at Reverspoons. Uh, and that equates in euros of €29.87. So, uh, snacks and drinks while in Poland. Snacks and drinks. Again, obviously it's all in Polish sloty, so I've translated it into pounds and euros for you guys at home. So, £15.88p. Uh, and... In euros, that is 18 euros 27. There you go. So that's what we've got so far. So, uh, the, and the final one is the train ride. Train in Poland. Which uh, was reasonably cheap actually. Uh, £4.68p. And in euros, that is €6.56. So, how much did that all cost me? Get my maths brain on, shall we? Um, I've done the calculations on my phone, so a bit cheating there, but here we go. Uh, so how much did it cost me in total? So the total trip cost £69.82p. And in euros, that equates to €80.27. So in total, now, £69.82 or €80.27. Euros and 27 cents. So, in terms of actually, it's quite a reasonably priced cheap trip uh, compared to some j 
trips and flights were cheap, like I said, I would really recommend e -Dreams. You get great discounts on flights. I've got flights for five, six pounds before. Um, so yeah, go and check e -Dreams out. I'll leave the link in the comments below so you can check them out. It's 80 quid for the year uh, and you get discounts. So you, it, I've spent loads on there. Uh, and I've got my money back just like that. So I'll leave the links, like I say, in the comments below for you guys to check e -Dreams out. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Now don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button to be signed up to updates. Until next time, happy travelings and goodbye.